we've got 40, 42 hectares and currently we've got 28 cows and they're all just starting to carve at the moment. We first heard about the farm makeover program with LLS uh, from Cole Friedman. We were interested because we went through the drought and we wanted to prepare for the next one. We were nearly down to, to nothing basically. One dam was completely dry, the other one didn't have a great deal left and um, well, the third one only had a, enough to survive basically. We hadn't heard about uh, fencing the dam off, that wasn't something we'd uh, ever planned to do or knew that uh, the benefits of uh, fencing the dam off. Part of that project, yeah, to um, improve the water quality and hopefully preserve it. Part of one of the projects through LLS, we um, did a farm planning course. We've just started to split the paddocks up and rotate them through. And part of the plan is to have water from the river so we can split it up even further. We fenced off the dams, try and stop some of the erosion and things like that from happening. We've got this remnant um, woodland vegetation here, which was part of the reason why we bought the property. So we're trying to preserve it as much as we can by only putting the stock through here as little as possible, basically. And there's a lot of bird life in here at the moment, and that's part of the part of the reason with some other tree planting, to try and link it up and plant some different species to hopefully attract some other birds and insects and things like that. With the farm planting um, course we did, we seen the benefits of rotating your cattle through on smaller paddocks to graze a, a whole area rather than uh, set stocking. Currently we've got 12 paddocks that we rotate through. We hope to get to about 20 paddocks by the end of the project once we get the, the water a bit more easily sourced. So our plan is to stop the cattle from grazing in around the dams where we're fenced off, um, limit the amount of manure and try and stop a bit of the erosion um, around the dams. I've got a plan to put troughs around so they don't have to go in there at all and that should hopefully when it comes dry times help out a lot.